This is the only save script that you're going to need in your Roblox game. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can save leader stats in Roblox Studio. I made a video like this before, but this one is going to be a lot more advanced and easier to use. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into replicated storage and insert a module script here. I'm going to go ahead and call it player data right there. And then we can rename this as well to player data. And then in here, we're going to get first get a couple uh, variable so we're gonna get the data store name which will be the name for the data store so i'm just gonna call it player data store you can make it whatever though and then data store service we could have dss which is going to equal a game get service data store service and then we are going to get the player data store which is going to equal data store service get data store and then we're gonna pass in the data store name. So this is just setting up the data store so that we can actually use it to get and save data. All right, now in here, and we're gonna create a function here called player data dot save player data, which is going to take in the player. All right, the first thing that we're gonna get in this function is the user ID so that we can actually save the data. That's just gonna equal player dot user ID. And then we're gonna create a table for the data that we wanna save. And then we're going to create a for loop that goes through all the values in the player so that we can go ahead and save them. So we're going to get the descendants and then we're going to check if the value is a number value or if it is a string value or a bool value. And then in here, we'll just set the data at the value dot name equals value dot value. And then below this, we're going to create a pcall function, which is going to take success. And then error message is equal pcall function that won't take anything in. And then player data store set async to string user ID data. And then we could just go ahead and say, if not success, then warn error message. All right, so this function right here, all it does is it gets the user ID from the player and then it goes through and gets all the data in the player. So if you have numbers in the uh, leader stats folder, then it will go ahead and get it and set the name of that leader stat in the table to the value of it and then this down here is where we actually save the table that we made and then we just need to make one more function here to actually load the data so we'll go function layer data dot load layer data and then we'll get player call back and then we're going to get the user id again which is going to equal player user id again and we'll get another p call function which is going to equal pcall function we won't take anything in and then we're just going to return player data store get async and then we're going to put in the user id we have to do two string though because it only takes in strings it won't take in the number for some reason and then we're going to go ahead and go down here and then we're going to say if success and callback so this is checking if we actually got the data and there is a function to call back to call back to then we're going to call back that function so we're going to call back success and we can go to say else if not success then we can warn we can just warn with failed to load data or and then we can just put on player.name and that is it for this script. If you don't understand this callback, I will explain it whenever we create the other script. So don't worry about it too much. And then in the server script service, we're gonna create another script here and we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and call it leader stats. You can call this whatever you want. We're gonna get the players, which is gonna equal game.players. And then we can get the player data module script, which is gonna equal require game.replicated storage player data and we have to use this require because it is a module script and we're going to create a function right here which is going to be save player data which will take in the player and all this does it'll call the save player data 
on the player data module and we'll pass in the player for that all right and then down here we'll get players dot player added connect function this will take in the player and then we are going to get the player data which is going to equal uh, the module script player data and then we're going to load the player data from it we're going to put in the player and then a function with the data so this is a little bit confusing um it was definitely confusing for me whenever i did it the first time basically all we're doing is this callback is basically just a function whenever we get the data we call that function it's kind of like a remote event if you think about it but that's the best way i could put it and then in here we're going to say if data then for underscore value in i pairs player get descendants I'm gonna say we're actually gonna get the same if here so copy this if statement with the number value string value bool value and then we could paste it into here and then delete the line inside of it and we're gonna set value dot value is gonna equal data at value dot name and then in here after we check with data we can say else print no data received for the player so basically this will run whenever you first run it it will print this error but that's just because it there was no data to load there's no need to worry about it we can just go ahead and make an auto save feature right here you can make it however long you want and then all we're going to do there is save the data and pass in the player and then the last thing we want to do is get the players uh, player removing we want to connect that function we want to connect that get the player and then we could say save player data with the player and then before you try saving anything make sure you go to game settings and then go to security and enable studio access to api services and save that okay so i made a small mistake here um in the player data module script whenever we call the callback um, instead of passing in success we want to pass in the result and in leader stats we also want to check if data at the value exists then we want to set the value all right so i set up these little um leader stats here i'm gonna go ahead and change them on the server and see if they save so i'm gonna set coins to just some random value gems to some random value and then as you can see we i have the, the coins and gems right here so now if i click stop and then play it again uh, we could see that it is still here and loaded all right so that is it for today's video if you guys had any issues with it please let me know and i'll help you in the comments and i will see you guys in the next one